All right, we'll start right from the top at zero 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 zero. Of course, right now. Somebody just claimed that that person found it on IMDb that wasn't created until after that stream. Yeah, the IMDb didn't wasn't it didn't have all this stuff until after that stream. And you're sure on the timestamps on that? All right, uh, on the IMDb. No, I mean on the uh, when you compare his stream and that uh, popping oh, up on uh, Google. Yeah. To yeah, uh, yeah. the IMDb creation. Yeah, because yeah, he's of course he's like completely screen sharing, so his uh. The time pops up on his computer a lot. Oh, it's got the time and the date and everything? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you guys sound good to go then. I, I, like, I, I don't watch Destiny, so I don't know. Same like, yeah, I don't what either. What his shit is, or when he streams, or what his usual someone, habits are. Someone linked this to us with a timestamp, and I'm just like, thank you for the timestamp. Oh, yeah. I'm not I watching just, a whole day. All right. I know this sounds like a pain in the ass, but I don't, I don't do internet. So I wanted to, Dog like, I wanted her to show people. you the little video thing and make sure that it ducks in it like everything looks right. Yeah, I mean, the only thing me. I'd recommend to you guys is people are going to be straight up fucking with you. They're going to feed you mm-hmm. false information just to watch you react and then uh, mm-hmm. laugh about it. So if people are like saying, oh, I've got these docs I'm going to send to you or I've got this shit I'm going to send to you, 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 you can never really confirm it. You know what I mean? Because it could mm-hmm. just be somebody fucking with you. Well, all right. Uh, the thing with my grandma is, but somebody said that that was up on uh, his subreddit for like twenty minutes, and they grabbed a screen grab. But you told me the other day, like you you don't trust screen grabs. No, because anybody can alter exactly. it. And I mean, the the thing too to like be aware of is if you start getting like random fucking people you've never talked to before. I don't talk back to them. No, no, I mean, but if you get random people you've never talked to before start sending you shit, that that's usually a really good indicator that you're being fucked with. Yeah. That- yeah. That I picked up on. I I I don't talk back with him. Old is uh, I I think it's like uh, Pascal and his little group, mm-hmm. and um, I think they're probably the ones that sent it to Destiny. Like, hey, look what we uncovered, kind of shit. Yeah, Zeph sent um, it to Pascal. Pascal couldn't sit on it. He couldn't handle sitting on it. the timeline for this is too perfect. From Zeph starting to talk all that shit about my stepfather. You know, the stuff that's very, like he's talking about my stepfather. He's talking about wrestling storylines that were on this pro wrestling Facebook that I used to have that he that he had found. Like, okay. I know where all his stuff came from. He thinks I have a glass eye because someone threw a fireball at me <laughs> in wrestling. Like, this is how I know where his information came from. They only have one of my wrestling names. They only have those pictures. Like I was a masked wrestler through Texas and shit for years and years. Fuck it, Here, here's, here's what I don't get. Like, but. Um, and this is what I'm kind of, I guess I'm curious about, like, if they only have like one of your wrestling pseudonyms and shit, like one of the names you use when you're doing that, mm-hmm. um, how are they finding pictures of your relatives? All because right. the, the wrestling name connects to, on the, no, I'll, I'll tell you how on the Facebook okay. profile, I can tell, I'll tell you, it's weird. I trust Jim. I didn't never, I never thought I'd even have conversations with you. It's weird. Um, weird. the thing with, uh, finding my, uh, grandparents, there's a lot of pictures. Hold on. on let me, let me cover the lie, babe. I'll do my grandfather passed. Oh wait, you you wanted to speak? Uh, pause it at three twenty two. Were you gonna talk there, or were you just giving? A oh, I was time? I was just giving a quick take. Let, let me just cover the live for me for you, Vamp. Don't don't don't. I got it. I got it. And somebody saying, um, who is or when did this take place? I want was it late January? January? Yeah, late January yeah. maybe. Um, Last year. Also, they're saying there's some some tranny who went to high school with Donga. Is this true or? Yeah. They were on Cog's uh, server. So what? Are, what? What are they saying exactly? Uh, I don't know the story because I didn't watch that part of the show. I'm sure. Cog- All right. Well, let's just let's just try it. By the way, this, this that's disgusting, Negro Joe. You're sick as fuck. All right. Um. There's there's Roxy plays games in the call. You know, I thought last night's show was pretty crazy. This one this one's getting there. Uh. Are you going to speak, or should we just go back to the recording? I, I think they're muted for some reason. Roxy. Oxy, Roxy, go ahead and speak. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll go back to the... Yeah, see if you can get your mic fixed. Sure. We'll, con- we'll continue at uh, 322. They're certainly doing a good job of pretending to be a woman because they have nothing <laughs> interesting to say. <laughs> All right, 322, let's continue. It's the way where like, they would come to wrestling events. Okay. And you know, there's a bunch of pictures of me like hugging all my grandparents and stuff while they're at the events and shit like that because oh, so that's was, that's how they connected it. Yeah, yeah. 
He's in ridiculously bad health. He's in ridiculously bad health in those pictures. But right now she's in shit health. Like she's going to be dead within a year. So are, are the pictures that are uh, like Wait, did you just say his grandma's going to die in a year? Or whatever, yeah. Um, does yes. that link to their Facebook or to her Facebook or add to anything that would identify her? Because no, like, if they figure out. My grandparents, I don't think, have Facebook. I think my grandmother may have had one forever ago, but she doesn't know how to Facebook. So I don't think it's linked. I, I can flat out tell you your Facebook would link to your mom's. Oh, glorious. Well, yeah. they, all right, here's the other thing. Your mom's stuff Zeph has been found scrubbed off thing. the websites. Yeah, Zeph found this fucking Facebook, and then he flagged it down. So, that there's, like, I can't go back into it and see, like, I can't get into that Facebook account. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotcha. All right, yeah, because I was going to say, if they, if they find a relative of yours, then they're going to know what your name is. It's not going to be a wrestling pseudonym. This was all weird and calculated. Like you can go, I don't know if you were listening to the Kumite uh, the morning it happened, but I'm just like, somebody sent me something that was a Facebook video and I clicked it. I was like, I can't go, I can't see the video. I have no Facebook. What the fuck? That was, the they, that was when that, that happened. Uh, Jim, Dave, well, all right, Tonky, you, you want to talk about the person you were talking to yesterday? Which one? Okay. Yeah, you can tell Jim. I don't care. They 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 started trying to contact uh, his uh, once fiance or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I. I, I mean, it sounds like it, it sounds like what they're doing is just. But, but it's uh, been for a while. Trying to get a rile out of well, trying to fuck. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like standard life ruination shit. I mean, they're they're going to track down relatives and fiancés, girlfriends, neighbors, places you've worked. Uh, they'll probably start sending you shit. Uh, like I don't know. It's if I were you, what I would do, you know, um, is I would call up whatever local restaurants are near you, like the the fucking pizza joints and shit that deliver, yeah, and just be like, hey man, you know, uh, there's some funny shit going on. <laughs> People are fucking with me, uh, so unless you get a call from this specific number, don't deliver anything. Well, here's all right. Here's the thing with my addresses. Link to that, like this Facebook profile was old. Like it's from back when I was doing that specific stage name. This is years ago. So I don't live anywhere near what those would be linked to. Oh no, I'm just telling you, like for a heads up. I mean, this is. What oh I'm yeah, yeah. I've still, I've still called law enforcement. Jim, make sure Jim, they're you want to you know yeah, yeah, how, how little connected Tonka was to to his wrestling life? A well, woman, I, I'm gonna guess. A, pretty, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. A, a woman he used, a, a woman he used to fuck. That ended up getting with a tag what? team partner okay. he used to wrestle with, who both of them fucking actually were fans of Tonka's Grapple Vision channel, which was a, a wrestling channel. Yeah, after I left uh, her, she got with uh, this other fucking wrestler. They're, they're sad sex, but they ended like, up being fans of my wrestling channel. That isn't so a comment cut? all the time. Talking about how much of a genius I am. Yep. Yeah, yeah, his wrestling channel is yeah, linked with his wrestling. Like, well, one of now, these. Now, let me pause at six forty-five. This is the same wrestling channel he gave to you, failure, and then took back. Correct. Took back. Yeah. An yeah. Indian giver, so to speak. Is it? Would that be yeah, a fair but, way to describe it? By the way, he took it back last month, uh, right after, right before the Andy stuff. So he was calling Andy a thief while he also fucking took back the channel that he gave to me. All right. So yeah, that's one of the one of the fucking chicks that got with his tag team partner. All right, uh, Zidane, should we continue playing a little bit more of this? Well, we can we can skip ahead to, uh, well, he already gave his advice, so we can skip to thirty one forty. You, you think um, there's? You, you, we should just go ahead and skip. Okay. It, uh, they talk about a lot of random stuff too, like they go over like Opie and Anthony and stuff like that. It's it's really random. I listen to a lot of it, so. Um, well, they were just having 31... a regular conversation, and Donga. The only thing I can figure, and you know, I talked about this with other people, including one of the principals of the recording, uh, is that he was trying to get dirt on Jim somehow. You know what I mean? Like, what, why else record this? And there's a point later on in the conversation where he asks about Worski, uh, and it seems like he's trying to, I don't know, get something under his belt here to use later. Uh, it's just, just uh, soap opera villain behavior, I guess you could say. Uh, I don't know. These guys sound boring, man. They sound really boring. <laughs> Thirty-one forty. Is that what you said, Zidane? Yeah, that's where he. Well, I'll let you. I'll let it play out. But uh, I think people will find it funny what he says. All right, thirty-one forty. Let's do it right now. And I've met him, and he's actually mentioned me by that wrestling name on his show because we did a show together. I've had a match with the current WWE champion. Has AJ mm -hmm. lost the belt yet? I don't. Oh, think I, I haven't watched any current. Like my my run was from like early WWF. 
up through like uh, you know some ECW stuff, WCW stuff, uh, uh, and then it, it fucking basically dead ends when uh, Jim the Attitude Era WCW. <laughs> yeah, and then I was like, no, I'm no longer interested because they bought up. They, they did. They didn't stop there. They bought everything up. Dude, even though I was watches. wrestling, I lost interest in wrestling. What, what, what do you think of uh, McMahon? Uh, Stone Cold Jim Medicare. Oh, he should have done he, it. He, he seems fucking hyped on it, though, because he has complete control now. He has no business yeah. partners. This is all I, him. I, I think it's too far away. What should I say? Yeah. Um, all right, what's the, what's the next stop, Sam? So, 3834, uh, this is foreshadowing. Donga says he doesn't want to talk to Jim because he would, doesn't want to hate him. Okay. It said 3834? Yeah. yeah let me By the way, Ralph, that's, uh, that's really funny. Now he, you know, he's <laughs> the fuck talk. This is true. And, and we had a good laugh about it because I know Bill Barron. I mean, I don't know him personally, but I, you know, I follow the wrestling press and uh, Bill Barron's is quoted in there all the time. He doesn't just represent AJ Styles. He represents uh, quite a few wrestlers. Uh, oh, I know. Yeah, but he's like his main point, man, though. He's like, man, oh, yeah. his career. He, right. knows, uh, he knows everybody that AJ has ever trained with. And he's like, I've, he's trained with the same people for 10 years. We don't know. That he's a goof. 38, 34. Let's play it right now. All right. But you yeah. being one of the six people that I actually watched on YouTube, didn't really want to meet you either. Yeah, it's like, weird. Right? I really don't want to end up hating him and not being able to watch his shit and us getting into it. I didn't want to do it. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> fucking right. weird, man. You meet you meet somebody you you watch, uh, it doesn't matter what they do, and then um <laughs> it goes badly and you're like, Oh fuck. I didn't I didn't want the attention of Paul and I didn't want the attention of you. Luckily, fucking Liz. <sighs> what does Paul think nice of you? Things to me, like in Paul, the what only does, thing I've seen about me on Paul is that I'm monotone. And what I'm, do they say? About, does Paul talk about me? Oh, yeah. Uh, Paul, Paul's they, been talking about all this shit. I, they're more yeah. fascinated by uh, the liberalist uh, shit and crowds implosion and then internet blood sports. Yeah, yeah. there's a internet blood uh, sports thread. What? Yeah, they well, like it. It's even funnier because when uh, you got doxxed, everyone just like thinks someone posted your dox and then Everyone starts posting pictures of Destiny. Well, let me pause it. Thirty nine, thirty seven. Vamp seems to know a, a, a lot about what goes on over there, doesn't she? Oh, she was on the, the most of the time. Anything I found out about the fucking boards was because she was fucking telling everybody what was going I on. I told you guys that bitch shits on A Chan all fucking day. Her ID is seven E B two five eight. That's her. I had to like, I, like I had to stop looking at it because it was, you know, like all right. And yeah, <laughs> no more. It, like a anytime she would fucking like bring up like, oh look, this fucking stream is fucking talking shit about about Tonka and you, whatever. It's like, Dad, I don't give a fuck. I, I just want to go watch fucking videos and shit. Fuck off. She literally sits on the board all day long, dude. She talks about you. She talks about me. She talks about Ralph. She talks about Andy. It's fucking. It's uh all right. Thirty nine, thirty seven. We'll play a little bit more of this uh, and skip ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Let me just go ahead and do this. <laughs> Medicare says, Ralph, I demand on to discuss this damning audio of myself. I know it's 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 horrible. You're, it's really bad. It's really it's really terrible for you, Joe. Yeah, it's, it's really, really Yeah, I'm gonna switch to hangouts. I need to get it's a really more. bad video for, I need, for Medicare. I need to get some more ice anyway. My throat's about to give out if I don't drink some bourbon, so uh, or maybe I just want to drink bourbon. That could be it. But uh, <laughs> all right, uh, let me let me switch here. Uh, Zidane, w while we switch over, um, can you uh, oh, hold on? Let me do this. There, there's the hangout link. You, it should pop up in this. Oh fuck! God damn it! Here, I'll just post it in the in the Slack. I'll send it to everyone. Yeah, send it around. I'll send it to. Uh, yeah, Medicare myself, and uh, yeah, we're gonna play that bit. I see Jim live tweeting about it. There's the hangout. L let me read a couple of these real quick. Uh, let's see. Uh, Get off my lawn says if you make over 20k on PayPal, they send you and the IRS a 1099. Poor Donga Kumite support says someone as exceptional as Tonka Saw will never be forgotten. He will remain in our hearts forever. Uh, Panzerfaust217 says, what if the Donga tribe flees to Mexico? Polly the Polar Bear says, Donga will have plenty of time to show off his fighting ability in federal prison. Daddy, no. 
Coffin Joe says, Donga spread butt aids in jail. Naked wrestle wrestle with cellmate Hector. Despise username says, The Donga tax and other fraud saga is like a trailer trash episode of American Greed. Uh, let's see, American Greed Z. Someone asked in chat, like Z, someone asked in chat, why would a car lot have a notary stamp? I mean, I think that's pretty obvious why they would have one. But uh, Sweet Shekel says, Hi, my name is Ethan Ralph, and I swear I will pay Zidane. Uh, and I'll stop there. Uh, Mr. Medicare, how you doing, sir? I, I feel betrayed, Ralph. How could you play this? How uh, could you How could you violate my trust and play the secretly recorded audio? Uh, no, it's not like I sent it to you first. Actually, I wanted to run it past you because, you know, it's, it is a secretly recorded audio. So I was like, well, I'm going to ask Jim about it. But um, anyway, go ahead. What, what are your thoughts on it so far? Well, no, like I told you, damn, I, I, there's nothing I say in fucking private that I wouldn't say in public. That's why I'm not really... That's a pretty Worried good policy. It. That's a pretty good policy, isn't it? Well, then you're never surprised. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I, because you, you, I had no idea he was recording me, so I listened to it. This was um, for people trying to like place the time period of it. This is, uh, if you remember, Pascal and I think Robin Gething from fucking oh, the guy that got his uh, fiance left him because Nigel Farage got her pussy wet. Yeah, yeah. So this is right around the time they were using like IMDb pages to fuck with people. So that's what I was talking about with the uh, oh you know uh, you know Destiny brought it up on stream and stuff like that. It, it's like a half an hour talking about that, and I give him basic bitch internet security pep talk kind of stuff, and then it's like an hour and a half of wrestle wrestle talk. Um, but the Warski bit's the interesting one because like with everything that's fucking happened now, looking back on it, I, I'm almost certain like especially looking at like statements JF and other people have made and Zoom has made about uh, Tonka being a snake. Like, I, I can't think of a reason as to why he would record it. It just doesn't make sense to me. Well, I talked about this. Um, I don't know if it was last night. Failure mentioned it. I think it was on Worski's program earlier uh, that Tonka actually, and I don't know if Failure was on that call or not, uh, but I seem, I think you were actually on the call, but I don't remember. Um, but uh, Big Kill stream tonight. I said, oh, yeah. Well, what do you mean? Like, what's going on? He said, uh, Andy's, you know, he's finally going to get rid of JF. I was like, oh, okay, well. Yeah, that would that would be a pretty big show. I'm sure we'll be talking about it. He said, "Yeah, just you know, keep your eyes peeled tonight, and and that's going to go down." That's yeah, see, and I, I remember when the Andy and Jeff split happened because I know I know that they were having a back and forth, and like oh, you know, Andy talked about it on the Kumite for like one day, and I told him, you know, well, do whatever your gut tells you, I guess. Um, but you know, think about what you're gonna. This is on the show, right? This isn't like in private. This is on one of these fucking episodes, but. Yeah, apparently Tonka's talking to people behind the scenes. It sounds like he was a busy little boy. But it's that it I don't know if Zidane has it time coded, but it's the Warski bit, I think, really lets you know how slimy this fucker is. Cause yeah, you know, I listened to this thinking, okay, well, I don't remember what I fucking talked about. You know what I mean? This is like post stream. So yeah. I was like, hey, I have no idea. I wonder what the fuck we talked about. Hour and a half of fucking wrestling. Great <laughs> damning <laughs> audio there, Tonga. It's two yeah, hours. Um, you stupid fucking engine! What are you thinking? Like <laughs> this is this is what you secretly record an hour and a half talking about Southern wrestling. You stupid fuck! Now let me ask you before I get my ice, and we do have the Worski stuff, Tom coded. I think there's a couple other things. You, I think you already have the video, right? Do I need to send you the link while we play it along? Uh, the, it, <laughs> there's all, the only interesting bits on this is also what I find funny is you tease this for a week, and they're going to be. <laughs> There's some <laughs> no, nah, there's a couple funny things we already played. First off, I didn't know you were such a huge Attitude Era fan. And what was your favorite uh, superstar back then? No, I, I told people I watch uh, OSW, old school wrestling, like the guys or the guys that do those uh, podcasts. That shit's amazing. Like they they make a ton of money on Patreon too, by the way, which I'm I'm happy because I love their stuff. But I should have um, known when you mentioned the Shockmaster after the Monday Matt stream that your knowledge uh, ran pretty deep. I, I, I like the goofy shit. I mean, that's just what hey, I said. Hey, about hey Jim, are you are you a fan of my old wrestling channel, Grapple Vision? I never watched wrestling. <laughs> I never, I never watched your channel. I never watched YouTubers aside from OSW. All right, but, Zidane, um, I'm gonna let you handle for a sec. I'll be back in like 30 seconds. Go ahead. Oh boy, I he's, gonna go, nice. he's gonna go open one of those free casts of whiskey that he got on his. <laughs> <laughs> It was a pretty good weekend, I have to say. But all right, I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I well, I had to listen to the entire audio to get the timestamps. Oh, um, no, yeah, you know, I gotta say, and you know, it, failing, I suppose this is a jab at you, but holy shit, was this a boring car? Like he said it to me, and so I listened to it, and I was like, "Fuck me," because if this is what the Kumite was like in its heyday, uh, it's just painful to listen to. 
Dude, yeah. I understand. I listen to myself now, and I'm like, Jesus, can you hurry the, the fuck up? Like, no, stop. <laughs> there, are a lot of, me. there are a lot of parts where it's just boring. A lot of talking about uh, wrestling. and then uh, Lots of wrestling. Lots of wrestling. And then talking about Opie and Anthony. Well, yeah, I, I, I love Jocktober. Like, I, yeah. I, I have, like, a fucking addiction to that shit. So, um, I, I mean, I've driven... Uh, <laughs> like Jade can't fucking stand it at this point because I used to like listen to playlists of that shit for eight hours straight. Like I, I love listening to old October episodes. All right, I'm back. Yeah. What's the next Tom Stamp sedan? By the way, I okay. Sent, I sent so, link in case you don't have it, Jim. I don't even need it. I got it. I got it memorized. <laughs> so we can skip towards the end. Um, there's a part where he you shit on Magog a little bit, which is which I found funny. Is that the fucking deal? yeah? He's got that's the one that um. Like the, the amazing weird makeup, atheist. yeah, yeah. Wasn't he, he kind of like the amazing atheist was doing for a while, where he's like all fucking decked out like a Halloween character and shit. Yeah, the guy the one in the robe and shit, right? Yeah, he is. is. He looks like a a wizard or whatever. <laughs> fitting, <laughs> every, every time I hear his name, I'm like, isn't that what they call those uh, those animalistic creatures in that Andromeda show that Kevin Sorbo was on for like a couple of years? Kevin Sorbo, I thought he didn't he do Hercules. Yes, that's yeah. yeah. And then they also had the show Andromeda that was Wait, like did, a discount did, Star Trek, and that's where Magogs came from. Oh no, I have no idea. I, I, I all I know is like Sorbo did Hercules, and then he became religious, and they threw him out of Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh, so, what's the timestamp on the next one today? The Magog stuff is at one thirty nine. Okay. If you want to skip to that, Just and then one thirty nine, the dot or one thirty nine forty nine. Oh, I, wait, wait! Before you play it, that the audience didn't mishear that. Zidane just went from a timestamp of like thirty minutes to an hour and thirty nine minutes because <laughs> this whole conversation that he cock teased you for a week about is about fucking wrestle wrestle. Yeah, no, well, you know all... what? I could play the whole thing through, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people <laughs> would like to hear the whole Please thing. God, Actually, Jim... no. Well, okay, so there's a part uh, before that where. Donga says that he knows people in wrestling and show you checks. If you want to listen to that, that's about an hour, four yeah, minutes like, and 35 seconds in. I would like to hear that. Yeah. Okay. Hour four thirty five. by the way, kudos to Zidane. Uh, For going, listening to this painful <laughs> shit. <laughs> hour four thirty five. I'm dead serious. They would sit here and listen to the whole thing. I mean, there's well, you know. fucking hell. Ralph, you sent this to me and you're like, is it okay if I play? I was like, I don't know. You know, I don't care. I listened to it and then I messaged you back and I was like, that is so boring. And you're like, yeah, I started watching a little bit of it. <laughs> you popped I it off out of these it. poor motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I watched the entire thing. You know, thing. you really got to give it to Medicare Fembot for fucking spending countless hours That's every fucking week night screenshotting and recording everything Tonka says. I was like, you know, do you have this? Do you have the thing with uh, with Tonka promising the stream for failure? And they were like, yeah. Twenty minutes later, they had the whole fucking stream and they sent it to me. I, yeah, I forgot too that yeah he did he did that's Joya right the one he's talking about that fucked his wrestling partner. Yeah, and you know what's funny? When I contacted her before the IBS apocalypse, she was like, if he ever says a single horrible thing about me, I'll make a whole video and I'll get every single ex he's ever had that he's put his hands on and I'll get them to throw him under the bus. He's so fucking stupid. An hour before he brought her on, he sat and talked shit about her and Medicare's fembot screen capped the whole goddamn thing and sent it to me. And I have a whole little 20 second clip of him shit talking her. All right, 104.35. I'm going to play it right now yeah right fucking shit guys are getting 500 bucks a shot right now in wwe jim i can show you checks i know <laughs> guys in wwe checks. now i'm friendly with them i like i've sat around like there's a there's a video right now up of uh one of the tag team champions has a let's play channel i know for a fact that they're getting fucked up beforehand because they're sitting in the fucking drug dealer's house the guy everybody bought weed from <laughs> they're sitting right in his fucking house and he even makes an appearance stoned out of his fucking gourd it's fucking great. Oh, There's a great video up. Uh, I, I wish I could remember the title of it. It's uh, somebody's going to like uh, WWE and they get a meeting with. Well, we can stop there, I think. But he knows yeah, people yeah, yeah. in WWE, guys. I mean, he's, is he's that the one where show. he talks about? Um, I, I, I don't have the clip up, but I'm just trying to go off memory here. After being forced to sit, it's like studying for a fucking <laughs> algebra test or no, something. Can I just yeah. say that Jim listened to the whole thing and I didn't even listen to the whole thing? So that that is some dedication. You were so you said it to me and you were like excited. <laughs> Like I got somebody send me secret audio, Jim. Is it okay if I play it? I think it. They said it's really spicy, and then I listened to it. 
It's fucking hour and a half of wrestling. No, talk there is ever. some good stuff. There is a few good nuggets. Oh, no, there. There, there, there are a few good nuggets, but Jesus, Donga, like next time, plan it out. Plan your op out a little bit, you know, now, like l- have a conversation ready to go on. Where now, why do you it. think? Yeah, I was going to ask you, like, why do you think he did this? I mean, other than the obvious trying to get some dirt on you or have something to hold over your head. I, I don't fucking know. And, you know, the thing is, when I talk to people, uh, you know, like when I talk to them on Skype or if I if I talk to them on like a, a fucking hangout. It, I'm, you're going to hear the same shit I'm going to say on live stream or just outright. You know, it doesn't really fucking change very much. Um, I, you know, like I talked to, uh, I'll give you a case in point, Sons of Kojima. Yeah. Uh, Fred Fox before his little meltdown, you know, Mr. Waterwells in Africa for DSP. And I, I, I told him, I gave him advice. I said, hey, listen, man, you need to diversify. You're focusing way too much on DSP and that's going to just kind of fucking blow up in your face. Didn't take the advice. You know, I, I don't I don't know what to tell you. And then Donga, you know, um, there seems to be a lot of evidence of people who don't take your advice uh, ending up wishing they did. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't I don't know. I, I, so I even guess earlier maybe, in this conversation that we played, you're like, yeah, you know, people are going to be fucking with you. They're going to throw everything at you. And the, and the more you react to it, the, you're just, it's just going to keep getting worse. Well, yeah. And that's a weird thing, too. It feels like. You know, when you say shit like that, it's obvious, right? But Pretty he's basic, acting yeah. like, yeah, well, yeah, but he's acting like. But I mean, look, Dong people. is not internet people, so, right? You know, exactly. Like, I've never yeah. heard this before. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I think I understand why he did it, Jim, and why he turned on you and he recorded all this. You see, <clears throat> back in WrestleMania 25, <laughs> oh shit, uh, you know, Matt was Matt was very jealous of Jeff Hardy's uh, popularity. So, you know, fail, failure knows about it. Oh, uh, you know, oh, they, oh. Were, they were in the Royal Rumble, and he wanted a chance to one-up Edge. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Matt had this chance. He, he was going to be able to do it. And uh, he, he was so That's, jealous this, of this Jeff. Is a good, uh, this is a good impersonation. I really want to cut my throat. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, uh, so, uh, you know yeah. he, he hit him with a steel chair, and he turned on his own brother. And it's kind of like how you turned on him. You know, tell him, Philly. Tell him about how Jim Tail turned on me, you know. No. Oh yeah, the gym just you know what you said. Now before before we move on, why do you think? Um, I actually did talk to him about this. I'm like, why are you going at gym? It doesn't make any sense. And he just spurred out and said, "Oh, you know, he. Sh- I guess he- it all goes back back to the IBS apocalypse th- stream." And he said, "Well, there was." It, some, you know what? It goes of- back to me not going on his fucking show. Yeah, right? let's, that's true, let's just too. call a spade a spade. He's pissed yeah. off. He's not making money. Well, he, he well, that was the excuse. Well, here's the retarded used. thing. Hold on. Here's the retarded thing: is he didn't want you on the show because people would come and and be like Jim, Jim, Jim in the fucking chat every anytime you fucking popped up, and I would be like Jim, and he's like, God no. And the same thing with Andy. Like he was sick of people wanting. Andy it's weird because there was a lot of segues in your show failure, where he would be like, "Oh, you know, we got this guy on, like with the MOC thing, and a couple other channel uh, times you had people on, and he'd be like, yeah, you know, this is really interesting and all, but you know, it's it's just dumb. I'm not internet people. Why don't we get Jim in here and get his hot take? Now wait, and I also want to point this out. There was I forget which live stream it was, but you you kind of criticized the Kumite and you said, you know. Donga, you need to. You didn't call him Donga then. You called him Tonka. Tonka, you know, cut out the the fight me and IRL stuff. And you I know, told him, uh, yeah, and he told yeah, failure yeah. to quit, stop playing. You know, Viva La Rasa every. I told three him seconds. to lay off the sound clips. Uh, hint, hint, Gator. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you know, I told him maybe it'll be a little more, you know, <laughs> a little more conservative with the sound clips. Uh, but no, I, like, I think with Tonka, the the fucking issue was. He's. I, I just. I kind of was like, okay, well, you know, this has kind of reached its arc. It's not really as entertaining as it was, and so if you go back, I didn't talk shit about any of these fucking people. No, you didn't talk. Like, shit, I, I moved but... on. To, I moved on to fucking uh, uh, making fun of Sargon and doing other shit. But you didn't go on his show for a while, and I remember there was a show where Amos Yee was on, uh, and you went back on the Kumite. I think it was on Andy's channel at that point, uh, and you went on there, and then Tonka got on Twitter and made a big deal. About oh, they said Jim would never come back, and oh, here he is, and he was like spiking the football basically. And you're kind of, you kind of went on there, even though you didn't really want to. You know what I mean? Like I actually watched. He changed that. the title of the fucking stream, and then he went and he updated the IMDb yeah. to include that Jim was there. Yeah, exactly. So fucking sad. It was just I don't know. It was just kind of weird. And, and if you watch that appearance, Jim just goes on there and says, "Oh, this is all. This guy's a fucking." He was there troll. for six minutes. <laughs> yeah, there was nothing much there. I don't well, know. He, he, okay, I, I think this is this is my my hot fucking take on this. Right, uh, if you run a fucking show 
and it has nothing to it. Like if the host can't, you know, put a, a if you can't make it fucking entertaining for your audience, and the only reason they're entertained is the fucking guests that you're bringing on, nothing's gonna highlight that more than people not coming on your show anymore. Jim, so, there was no fucking show prep. Me and Andy were showing up an hour before the first show to try to like prepare shit, and fucking Tonka would show up like about fucking two minutes before the show would start and not fucking stay afterwards. He didn't want to fucking prepare. Well, yeah, for no, what, what I'm what I'm saying is. You're right. is when you stop having people come on and it's just the host flying well, solo and it's yeah, boring as shit, that and it highlights that the host is boring as shit. Well, that shows like, whether you can hang or not. So, I mean, you took, I mean, you weren't around for a month or so just at the end of the year last year. And to be honest with you, when you don't show up, people are like, oh, where's Jim? Where's Jim? I mean, they get used to you being on the show and you kind of, I mean, if you can't hold it, you know, if you can't put on a program, uh, on your own, and then people, you know, they'll stop watching. You know what I mean? If you if you can't do it, you can't do well, it. Well, yeah, I mean that's the the comparison I was going to draw. Like if you if you compare the Kumite right, and you compare the Kill Stream, you guys could go and do an episode without any fucking guests at all, right? Just talking about news stories or whatever, and still draw in a consistent audience. If Tonka has to like fly solo and there isn't, we end up with dead air for twenty minutes and two hundred people watching. Well, and and part of that is because I mean. He's retarded, right? I mean, he can't actually talk about anything. You know what I mean? Besides, nobody wants to listen to fucking Godzilla yeah. conversation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What, what can he really talk about? I mean, uh, I remember. I think Failure was talking about this earlier today. Like, oh, this is the hot news story. This is the hot thing everybody's oh, that's talking fucking about. Gay. And he was like, oh, that's gay. We can't talk about that. What do you? What do you mean? What? You know, what yeah. I'm supposed to talk about what everybody wants to talk about. No, <laughs> yeah. fuck that shit. Like, how retarded is that? Oh, I, I don't know. It's just Jim. It, when you were really into the IRL fucking shit and making fun of that like we could barely take a peek at it because oh no that's fucking gay what well, we're gonna do everything oh yeah, no, yeah. Looks- Daga, Daga has it so much better let's talk about Godzilla and wrestling we don't want to talk about Ice Poseidon having a crack or steal iPads no that's not exciting and interesting to watch take place no let's talk about Mothra for fucking three hours and Gator, honestly- you, went, Gator you went silent on me Did I, I just- <laughs> no Gator no <laughs> You guys remember that time that that giant <laughs> plant creature turned into Space Godzilla and he had mountains coming out of his shoulder pads? God, that was fucking cool. What do you think about that failure? Gator, oh, Gator, are know, you there? Hold on, hold on. You have, to hit, you have to hit us with a Tomley soundboard clip now that now that Jim took a, took a shot at the soundboard. It has, has to be good, though. Uh-oh, he's dead. No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fair. All right, this guy's getting a little nervous there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so all right, let's just go you back. Want, you want the next time clip? It's one thirty nine forty nine, right? Yes, that is. Okay, uh, we just jumped thirty five minutes, by the way. Yeah, more, I mean, we could go into, go into the theory of you know the attitude era and ECW, but let, let's continue one thirty nine forty nine right now. Those are the dudes in his fucking makeup and everything. You should have quit pushing Maga- pushing Maga- He has Maga- makeup. Ago. Yep. He oh, plays a necromancer yeah, a reacting to things in the, the oh, regular realm. The same shit everybody oh, does. Oh, come on. Come on. Fuck this. No, turn this off. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, thank I'm, you. I, by the way, I quit, uh, I quit uh, the at least, uh, at least it was a little bit more quitting. creative at the time when everybody just had fucking Avatar. Well, at least now I know who the Amazing Atheist stole his bit from. I, I thought it was Jim Sterling, but it looks like he ripped it. <laughs> yeah, he saw Magog and apparently Jack. Yeah, he fucking robbed him completely. He stole his whole bit. So, so when I found the dude, he only had 80 subscribers and, you know, had like three jobs as a janitor. And uh, now he's making like, what, almost 1500 on the Patreon? Plus Roughly. Whatever. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I, th- I think we've heard enough. By the way, Magog is a faggot. Uh, what was <laughs> it? We were making fun of him like a month ago. What, what was it? I can't remember now. Was it? Oh, it was the Sargon stuff where he jumped out there. I think he said he was going to shut down his Patreon and all this shit. And. I don't know. And we were talking about this with Dick. Well, I didn't it, even hear the clip. So what did I say about my guy? Basically, he just said he turned the shit off. He's a, basically what I said. He's a faggot. Like, okay. Well, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're you know, the guy that dresses like a wizard, like another. <laughs> <laughs> just turn it off. Just turn it off. Uh, but we were talking about this and this is totally off topic, but uh, Jordan Peterson deleted his Patreon. I think Ruben deleted his and they don't have anything ready to go. I was talking with Dick about this and it just seemed like an astonishing misstep well, you guys made this big show deleting your patreon and you were going to start this new service and it's not up and running and you well I, peter I, peterson will be fine because he oh well, he, yeah 
he pulls in a lot of money independently on his website. He'll be Rogan fine just with book royalties. He pulls in, yeah, yeah, he pulls in a lot of money independently. But everybody else that doesn't have an independent website with their own payment process are already in place is kind of fucked. Yeah, people need to start selling rugs for 2K. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't forget to wash your penis. All right, let's see. Uh, so are we going to go to the Andy? Because that's probably the best part. Yep, 153.34. Yeah, that's oh. definitely the most damning now that I look back on it, yeah. 153.54, you said? Yeah, that's where you start talking about DSP, and then a minute later, uh, you bring up Andy. Not even a minute later, a couple seconds later. Okay, 153.54, let me get there. 34. 34, oh, God. Sorry. It was a long, no, 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 never. You're a legend for going through this and Tom stamping it. Which is what I should have done, but it's been a it's been a long week, Jim. I mean, come on, cut me a little slack. I was originally gonna play this last week, and then Donga fucking backed out of the fight, so that was a whole show. And then something else happened, that was a whole show. Then we had Christy Winters, and I don't know, it's just been crazy. And then of course I was in Knoxville getting drunk all week. Um, one fifty three, fifty four, or thirty four, right? That's correct, right? Yeah, thirty four. Okay, all right, I'm gonna hit it right now. Uh, I would enjoy it while you can. Job. Don't 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 pull like a DSP. DSP thought that shit was gonna last a decade for him, and it it, it didn't. He should have <laughs> saved his money. He should have really saved his money when it hit big. Yeah, I, the stuff for uh, my gra- like I got. I think last month it was like six thousand dollars ended up I coming in off of this stuff. Yeah, I mean that's a great amount of cash, and especially yeah. at the size of the channel was. I mean, imagine if you continue to grow throughout the year and you're sitting at eighty thousand at the end of the year rather than eight. So as far as subs go, I mean, it's just going to exponentially grow. Mm-hmm. I mean, Andy's getting to the fucking point where his reading super chats is almost as long as the amount of fucking stream that came before it, which is just insane. Yeah. <sighs> even even though that's fucking great, I, I saw how much he was making at one point with the fucking ads when the ads were good and back when when we when the days were good there. <laughs> yeah, well, we were talking about fucking five figures and and. And that only lasted for like two months, <laughs> so he, he had a taste of it. And when you have a taste of it, that's the fucking worst because you're like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He he missed he missed his opportunity with the ad thing. A lot of people got fucked on that, but he's got his opportunity with Super Chat if that's what he wants to oh, do. He's, I mean, he's he make good money doing it. it. Yeah, yeah. Make really good money on it. Chris is. He's really already perfect. fixing up. I mean, he's fixing up his fucking studio. He bought a fucking a Bing Bing Wahooey fucking Nintendo Switch and shit. So he's he's happy. He's enjoying himself. <laughs> God, those are terrible. <laughs> But uh, all right. Let, let me pause it for a second because they're saying F. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, at least I never got a taste of the good money. That way, I'd never <laughs> missed it. <laughs> but they're 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 saying F. Let let me go back. What's it? One fifty five oh one. Let me go back a little bit. Now my internet didn't go out. I think I think it was Streamy. Streamy's been having ever since they did that site update. Uh, last well, I tried. Week. I tried watching Zoom stream and the fucking it's thing been running like shit. It was yeah, doing okay. Was yeah. So on my phone, you know, I was driving. A, down the road and I just turned it to audio only and it would kind of like stop every once in a while. Uh, but it was, you know, it was, wasn't that bad, but, uh, I, I'll go back to, let's see, one fifty four uh, 43, just to make sure everybody heard everything. Uh, but it wasn't my internet. It was definitely a uh, streaming. All right. One fit by the way, zoom, I heard you say, <laughs> and I don't know if this is true or not, but you're like, well, they're saving their bandwidth for the big streamers or whatever. Do you really think it, all, that's it, it almost seems like that? Because like when you and Jim set your time slots, you don't have that problem. And then like when the smaller people come up and they get like you know anything over like four or five hundred people watching them, the fucking entire thing just goes crazy. And it's, and it's not me. I have a gigabit up and a gigabit down. Do There's too. no way it's me. Yeah, it's. I think it's our site, especially since they update the day they did their update. Our stream was going up and down all night. Uh, a lot of people couldn't see it. Weird. And I mean, look. Okay, anyway, I'll continue. One, 154.43 right now. But he's got his opportunity with Super Chat if that's what he wants to do. Oh, he's, he's make making good money doing it. it. Yeah, yeah, make really good money on it. Chris is He's really already fixing it. up. I mean, he's fixing up his fucking studio. He bought a fucking a Bing Bing Wahooey fucking Nintendo Switch and shit. So he's, he's happy. He's enjoying himself. <laughs> God, those are terrible. <laughs> but, uh, uh, do you like Andy, Jim? Oh. Yeah, I think, I, think, I think Andy's a likable guy. I don't really... I, I don't really get like an ulterior motive off of him. You know what I mean? That's that's how I feel. Too. But like people keep telling me like that he seems like a snake and like all this. Andy to me is the only person in this entire fucking deal who had anything to lose. Yeah. No, yeah, Andy, Andy, Andy is what Andy is. I, I really don't get a feeling like he's he's hiding something. He, he, when there's thirty people. Yeah, he's just mm-hmm. he's a, you know. 
I, I think right now he's just he's probably really happy. He's doing well and he's fucking excited about it and he's really into what he's doing. And that's the feeling I get from him. And I'm I'm glad for him. I'm glad he found something to work for him. Here's the thing with Andy, like I'll let you know. At one point he was getting tired of fucking fighting with people and he wanted to like, you know, oh let's let's mend some bridges, let's uh, you know, talk to Franny and talk to this person and everything. And then he got fucking burnt. <laughs> And, and and now with this thing, he, he's like, I'm tired of, of, you know, just doing what people expect me to do. Let, let me actually talk to some fucking, sure, I'll talk to all writers in the SJWs. Now this is a fucking problem. So nobody, so he's just saying, fuck everybody. And that's why people are like, oh, why, why is Andy being such a prick? Because you guys are being pricks. Mm-hmm. He's just willing to have a conversation that no one else is willing to have. And people are ready to hear something that they haven't heard a million times. Well, yeah, and, and again, it goes back to people getting pissed off because their way of doing it isn't working. And the thing is, anybody could have done what Andy did. I mean, they could have they could have used that same format. They could have taken that same approach, but he's the one that decided to do it. They didn't. And that's yeah. what pisses them off. Is it's a really like with my like I get a lot of shit, but mine is a really easy format. I talk for a minute, I, I read off a couple things, and then if two people want to fight, I let them. No, now, I, I, now let me pause it. At- one fifty three oh three says, "I talk for a minute. I read a couple things. If two people want to fight, I let them." That that's actually that actually is a pretty good format, right, Jim? I mean, well, uh, again, I, I'm not listening to the recording, but based off memory, yeah, like looking back on it, because he's like, uh, didn't he say? Uh, I think uh, the way he phrased it was, uh, "Do you think Andy's a snake or something?" Yeah, like that's that? exactly. Yeah, they, people yeah. are people. Other people are saying this. What do, What do you think? Yeah, I, I thought it, I thought it was weird because yeah, I, I've said again privately what I've said publicly. I, I think Andy's a good guy, and I'm happy that he's doing well. Yeah, and I'll also I'll say this: Andy is one of the who the fuck is Bing Bing Wahooing in the background? What is that? I'm Bing Bing Wahooing <laughs> in honor of Andy. Is that what's going yeah, on? In honor of Andy. <laughs> All right, we'll turn just turn on this a little bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I will say Andy is one of the most genuine people that I've met throughout all this and he helped me when he had no reason to uh when actually when people told him not to i mean he got in a fight with jf uh over me which you know a lot of people said what the fuck just you know cut bait with ralph what's going on here matter of fact well, I, I, a lot I, I, of people I, did tell him that but yeah go ahead jim and i think i mean i think i paused there for a second like if you know looking back on it it was it just kind of struck me as a weird question to ask out of the blue like what do you yeah. think about it well what do you mean snake you know and again, to put this into context, the time period on this, if this was J- January or whatever, right when Pascal was doing the IMDb shit, yeah. um, that means that he was gay oping or setting up gay ops a year ago. Yeah, I mean, I, I was in jail late January, so this, uh, you know, I wasn't even around for, for all this, but uh, I, I just know that Andy is one of the most genuine people I've met, and he's helped me time and time again when there's nothing in it for him. And I, I still remember when Andy was getting, you know, four or five, six thousand a night, and he plugged our stream to the hilt for nothing in return, just because, you know, he liked me and he liked the show. And there was nothing in it for him. He didn't have to do that. Uh, and that's why, you know, I'll, I'll well, because be I've, I've never had, like, I, and I don't really talk to anybody outside of, you know, the streams and stuff because I'm kind of off doing my own thing. But, it, you know, the few conversations I've had with Andy, uh, like if he sent me a DM or something, he's always been super nice. Like, he's never. He's never done anything or acted in a way that would make me think he's a snake. And especially at the time, I'd only, you know, known him for like a month. Um, but it, it was just a really fucking weird, especially looking back on it, it's a really fucking weird question. So I've got to bring down his defenses by having some casual banter back and forth, get him relaxed, get him feeling comfortable. And then I slip it in at an opportune time when his defenses are de- hindsight now with everything that's gone on. Um, yeah, it, it almost makes it, cause I don't know. I mean, there've been some stories going around about, uh, certain individuals blackmailing other individuals and, there are, yes. uh, you know, it makes me wonder if, uh, he wanted, he wanted something in reserve, you know, cause this is, I, I believe this is the only time I've ever talked to him, uh, off air, I think at yeah. the end of the I mean, I can, uh, yeah, I, I can say for a fact that that that's how he operates. I, oh, no, no, there was a moment that you uh, talked off air with uh, Andy and him as well. Okay, well, more gay ops to come, Ralph. Fingers, <laughs> fingers fucking crossed, buddy. Ralph, look at your DM on Discord for a, a wonderful screenshot of our good friend Akajin uh, talking about his education. 
Now, l- let me ask you, Jim, I know you talked about this a little bit on Morsky's show earlier. What the current, I mean, look, Bank Alaska came on the show last night and tried to get me to, uh, to fight him. And, and oh, I still think, I still think you're a fag, Bank. Come at me. <laughs> Uh, but uh, you know the fight thing's not my thing. You boys do whatever you want. I think fighting in real life is gay as fuck, and the internet tough guy shit is gay as fuck. But uh, you know, if you can make it entertaining, whatever. Um, I just think that Tonka was really serious about it. He's not doing it as a joke. Well, yeah, it, that's what uh, I was going to say. I mean, you know, if if something like that happened with me, obviously I'm not uh, I'm not a fucking fighter. I'm not trying to tell people to do that. Yeah, I mean, he he was he was serious about it, and it got on my nerves. That's why I brought it up as one thing. Um, yeah, you bullied it, him out of fighting me, Jim. I came well, back two weeks well, later, and I was like, all right, let's do this that fight. Is such a fucking easy go-to excuse. Oh, I can't fight you, Zoom. Jim said. That's the, literally the, what he told the, Andy when Andy wanted to book it. The hunters demanded Jim. So, he, said, yeah. he said Jim made fun of me, and I don't want to look like a fag to Jim, so I can't fight him. And he told that to Andy, and then he blocked me on Twitter, and he hasn't said a word to me since I bullied him on that one girl stream. I, I think we can call this that uh, even if I had not said anything, he would have found a way to weasel out of it, given the events with Andy. I think that that's the case. Um, but no, no uh, with, with, yeah, with the weekend stuff, I thought it was funny. I enjoyed watching it happen. I'm glad that he got his fucking nose rubbed in it for being such a fag. Um, I, I think the problem is not the problem. I like. I thought this was going to be like this. This would kind of be the end cap of it. Like, oh, okay, you know, talk is too. Yeah. How funny it, you think it's bad? Like Medicare or Medicare's fembot or whatever has to listen to the. Toad's got to go through every archive to get the clips he needs. He's got to listen to fucking <laughs> a year's worth of Kumite. All right, five hours a day, every day of the week for twelve months. He's going to oh, shoot God. himself. By the middle of next week, I don't know how he's going to do it. Now we were talking about this in Knoxville. Where where do you rank? I mean. Tonka, I, I would say, I mean, like you said earlier, there's random Uber drivers making fun of this guy. Just random people at the event making fun of this guy. People who are not plugged into this stuff are laughing at him. This this is spread beyond the normal corners that, that he lurks in. Um, where does this rank in, in terms of all-time history of internet uh, blowouts here? I, I think I think it's got to be high up on the list, right? We, we were even talking about this with Dick Masterson. Yeah, no, uh, I mean, it, if you're talking like compared to recent shit, yeah, this is... This is um this is worse than Monday Matt for sure. Yeah. Um, it's ranking up there with crowd. I mean, uh, you see AP posted a bunch of discord caps. They're making hit lists now. Yeah. And we were talking about it with, with Masterson and, you know, Maddox, obviously, you know, with the lawsuit and stuff, I, I would say Maddox, if you want to go in terms of like length of Tom, uh, his would probably be above it, you know, just like, oh, I'm, just talking about, I'm talking about like level of implosion. Like, yeah. That's what a guy yeah. possibly going to prison. Um, for being a retard on the internet, that's pretty fucking exceptional. Like, there's some people that haven't gone to prison. Chris Chan hasn't gone to prison, and look at the shit that that guy did. Like, he assaulted people, pepper sprayed motherfuckers, and he hasn't served a day in jail. But Tonka might end up going to big boy prison. And isn't it more poetic? Uh, and and I think you hit on this as well. I mean, he did it all to himself. I mean, it's not like uh... it's completely self inflicted. Yeah, I, I, you can even hear it in that fucking conversation when I said like Andy is doing what anybody could have done. All he's got to do is you know put on an entertaining show. All Tonka had to do is sit down, read the super berries, and let people argue with each other. There's your format. Have a little bit of banter in between the fucking fight segments. And you've got to show people want to watch. And I don't know what the fuck made him go off the rails. But looking back on the audio, it seems like he was trying to, trying to do something. I don't know if he wanted, like, maybe he wanted to ditch failure and try to do a partnership with Andy. And maybe, I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. No, he wanted to be the fucking blood god. He fucking put it in his head that he wanted to be the guy yeah. that, you know, won all the fights. You know, Coach and Redpill that's... Coach Redpill did a video on this a few months ago, and I think he kind of hit on it. It's basically what you're saying, failure. Uh, they, you know, and it was, I guess part of it was the audience. Oh, Tonka's the blood god, whatever. You know, he's the, you know, overseer of this stream uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> and um, and he kind of turned into... Oh yeah, I actually am one of the the legendary, you know, blood sports combatants. And I remember listening to an early Kumite when I got out of jail and you were both on there. I I, I want to say you were on there, Jim. And people were like, "Oh, who would win a blood sports between Jim and Tonka?" And I remember Tonka said, "Oh, well, what would we ever fight over? I mean, I don't, you know, I don't I don't know what, what would he happen." Got, he got so passive. Like after I stopped watching the show and I went and was going through my own thing. Like he kept throwing out barbs. I didn't really give a shit. 
but he just wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. So I started throwing some back, and he didn't like that. Like, he, he was shit talking about views, and so I was like, oh, you know, I'm blowing out of the water. That's not fair. You got a bigger sub base. So I compared him to you, and he really got mad at that. <laughs> at the time, at the yeah, time, okay. you had 17,000 subs, and you were you were still starting out with, like, five. And you're, you're yeah. like, fucking quadruple his numbers. And, oh, was he mad about that fucking comment. The blood yeah. god doesn't care about anything other than bringing blood to every show they're on. I, I think Tonka he... could never be the blood god. The only blood he has is the one coming out of his pussy once a month. <laughs> I, I just think he kind of bought into his own, you know, hype, his own press. Where you know, co- and Coach talked about this. His, his role was the the host, basically. It's not it's not about you getting in the host role, even with people I don't like. We had Baked Alaska on here last night. I'm not his biggest fan, obviously, uh, but it's not always a call for me to. You know, try to fight with somebody or try to, you know, get into it with them. Sometimes the host has to be the host. I mean, that's that's their role, but, right? Ralph, another thing is that it was supposed to be people deciding who fuck him cringy. Well, he does that a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a bit. All right. I was doing this thing. It was back when, like, people used to watch Goldberg back in 1990 on yeah. WCW. That was my bit. It made everybody mm. mad. I was trolling the entire scene. They had no idea. I was masterminding. That was the ultimate gay op. Wait, was that what was that what uh, Andy was quoting? Like in the video, I put uh, the video I did. I put a clip of Andy making fun of Tonka, and he kept saying, "All you do is scream ho ho bitch ho at people." Yeah, is yeah. it the ranting monkey one? He's mocking when he's saying that. Yeah. Okay, I'm, spent, not, I'm I'm not fucking joking, Jim. He spent like fucking ten minutes just yelling ho at him to the point that even like the fucking diehards were like, "Okay, this is getting old." Well, he does that all the time. Though you know, you just try to scream over somebody for. You know, five ten minutes, and just say I won. Uh, but of course, it's just a bit. You know, he was just he was just uh, riffing off Goldberg. Uh, I don't know. It's just I, I I'm more interested in. Uh, let me let me pull the room here. Where do you think this is going to go? What do you think he's going to do? What when he finally does stream? And I have a feeling he is going to. Uh, what do you, what do you think? What is he going to say? How is he going to try to like, take this okay. back? So, okay, I I, I got a one prediction. He'll say he will not attack failure. <laughs> Yeah, well, he said that before. I think what he's going to do, he thinks, I mean, judging by some of the leaks from the Discord, he thinks he has some type of, like, dirt or line on the promoters there in Knoxville. And if you if you read some of their, <laughs> I guess it was Vamp said, screw job. Uh, somebody else said, oh, they paid them off. I can personally attest to, we didn't pay anybody off. We actually all came out of pocket and lost money on the event. Well, besides the free booze that I got to take back. But uh, other than that, uh, no, no, nobody paid the promoter. We went down there and spent money and didn't make anything just to shit on him and, and have fun with it because he completely bitched out in the event. And there would have, you know, all these people would have spent all this money and it wouldn't have, they wouldn't have had anything to hang their hat on. So we at least wanted to go out there for, you know, four or five minutes and give them something. Uh, so I, I really hope he does go with that line because it's going to add to the, you know, reasons that they have to sue him. What uh, could he but, honestly do at this point, Ethan? I, I mean, don't know. We literally have him on, on recording. We have him lying about collecting money for this fight. We have him lying about collecting money for failure. And then the best part is all these Discord leaks where he fucking flat out says in a, in a private channel that he's fucking, he's taken the money from the fans and he's gone on vacation with it instead of going to the fight. Now, did he say that? Like, what was yeah. the quote there exactly? Let me, let me get it. All right. Uh, because I heard you talk about that earlier. Now, originally he said he was going to Knoxville no matter what, remember? And, yep. uh, you know, of course, I won't break the law, but I'll be there in Knoxville, basically. If he well, was there. The secret recordings. He said, well, you know, yeah, any any screenshot, you can't really trust. Well, yeah, him. and that's why, like, when it happened to um, with Kraut with his Discord, because uh, I think it was Braving Ruin or Guardian, one of them made a fucking recording just scrolling through everything, showing it. Yeah. I got it from two different sources that don't even know each other. So okay. Well, that's good. I, I usually take it based upon that. So if I have one person that does not know the other person and they both send me the exact same screen, hopefully, hopefully it wasn't uh, uh, hopefully it wasn't a Kujin and T Scables or whatever <laughs> the fuck that guy's name is. Oh, that guy is a fucking oh my god. Uh it has been impressive just how many of there there have been a lot of hardcore uh Kumatards that have turned on him though. They're fucking cat ladies. Uh, like uh, the ones that have stuck by him are cat ladies, and he's got yeah. other cat. That's what he, he's. He said, uh, "I just got back from the trip with who I am with, and I didn't want to ignore them after the trip. We did a bunch of shit yesterday and today, and went for a meal, and then I decided to come here. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day, uh, and then maybe I will hop on and see what's going on later." 
Now, and that can was you, literally just the other day. Can you show? Can you like send that to me so I can pull it up on screen? Yeah, these yeah. uh these these were screenshots that were taken directly from his Discord in the past two days. But I was actually talking, and I talked about this the other night, Jim, uh, with Sofane. He was actually at the, you know, post fight and stuff. I guess he went to the regular, you know, the actual fight too. Um, and he said, you know. And he was positive towards Tonka right up until, you know, the shit went down. And he said, I would have had a lot more respect for him had he actually shown up, even though they said he couldn't fight, if he would have showed up to the weigh-in and said, hey, I made weight, if he would have showed up, and whether they let him weigh or not, and then just show up to the post-fight, show up to everything, show your face, don't hide, um, that at least, you know, he, he would have some type of place to to put his hat, you know what I mean? Like, he would... Well, while you're bringing that up on screen, I'm kind of curious. Uh, it, failure. So, uh, what do you think of his Discord saying you're a cock? Because <laughs> on, so. on AP's uh, on AP's timeline, uh, uh-huh. he posted he posted some stuff they were talking about. But a cut off at the very top of it, it says Jim suggested that. Did failure already cuck? <laughs> so, what what are your oh. thoughts on them calling you a cuck? Well, basically because I'm being open and fucking, you know, telling the truth and showing stuff. So now I'm a cuck because, yeah, if I'm if I'm talking over here, I'm a bad guy now. All right. You need to do that stream failure. You need to I, just fucking drop it all. I will. Uh, I'm gonna take screenshots of all the DMs. I'll ask uh, AP if he wants to throw his fucking uh, 50, 50 text messages that he got uh, on his phone. And yeah, I'll fucking drop it. Now, right, here goes the first screen. Uh, Medicare God Emperor is what he's known as on Discord, Jim, by the way. Uh, I, I love it. Yeah, I said this before. <laughs> the whole Medicare name is just to take the piss out of Haberman because he tried to wipe it from the internet. So feel free to throw that in your user. <laughs> I actually have a video of him talking about how he's overcoming you by making that his name or some shit like that. It's so gay. What a fucking moron. I just want to fuck with John, Donga. Like, <laughs> that's all I cared about with the name. Feel free to use it, bud. He says, I just found out that people think I am going to stream for some reason. I am at dinner. Uh, Naomi isn't banned, who I don't know who that is, says, uh, I'm not even going to read that because it has nothing to do with anything. Uh, Latter, Latter, wait, Latverian Savage says, what are you eating? And then he says, and here comes the food, uh, which uh, you kind of. Who the fuck is in their Discord? Oh, weird. Like, this guy lives on this Discord. I'm at dinner at a restaurant, but let me talk to these faggots online. What are you doing? I, I don't I don't know. Like, all right, here's the thing with him. He's always been lanky. Uh, but like I didn't see like that much muscle. He he was lean, but like you saw Andy. Andy fucking you could tell, like, okay, yeah, he was training. Hell, I've fucking been fucking training. I gotta say, stop starting fucking. So what? W- I'm I'm really trying to think. What time did he train? He also lied. Uh, well, he said I was lying about him going to American Top Team, but at one point he said he was going to American Top Team to train, and then he he rolled that back. All right, here here goes the next one. Medicare God Emperor, aka Tonka, says I have some new info, but I didn't mean to make you think I was going to be on air today. It may be tomorrow or the next day. And uh, American Gadfly who is deep in the tank for Tonka says right on Van Brian says no problem. And then Tonka says, wait a minute, wait a minute. That couldn't be Mr. Uh, Outline. That's not, no, the I don't think so. I don't think okay. so. All right, I'm just, no, I, I, I don't think he likes him. So I think it'd be weird. If I'd bring it all full all circle. Right. No, I don't think it's him. Uh, and then Tonka says, and I am not streaming dinner. What the fuck is wrong with you people? And I think, uh, Zoom said, goofs. yeah, goofs that, it would have made it perfect. That would be actually what he said. Uh, there's one more. Let me pull this up. Uh, and he says, I just got back from the trip with who I am with. I wonder who that could be. Hmm. With who I am with and didn't want to ignore them after the trip. We did a bunch of shit yesterday and today went for a meal. And then I came in here going to enjoy the rest of the day. And then I will maybe hop back in to see what's going on later. And he got 10 like the, what do they call those? Like the rock horns that you give at a concert. I uh, forget what they're called. Like the, the Longhorn, if you're a Texas Longhorn fan. Wait, they, have, they have a Reddit rating system in Discord, really? Yeah, they do. It, it's like Slack, if you've ever been on Slack, uh, where they have, like, you can put an emoji underneath and they'll rate it. I'll like you that. another one, Ethan. Uh, he claims that he paid fucking AP's child support for over a year or two. Yeah, AP was pissed about that on Twitter. Which it was. A complete law, but, uh, okay, let me... Let me zoom out, make sure I got it all. He says, 
Oh, J Love, who's some random thought, I don't know who it is, uh, says, wait, I'm lost on the AP thing. And then Tonka says, he didn't have enough money to stay out of jail, and I paid his child support for months, starting when he was with Gulf City and going beyond. Uh, and then there's like, oh, well, I didn't know that uh, for a couple of others. Oh, yeah, Jessica, age 74, says, I didn't know you paid his child support like that. Fucking hell, Tonka. J Love says, only good, two months. good for you, Tonka. Yeah, well, I don't know. I, I had a bet with Coach Red Pill that uh, he wouldn't delete his channel. You haven't lost yet. He didn't delete the no, channel. No, no. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad you said that because people last night was like, oh, Ralph, you're full of shit. He has to delete the channel for me to actually lose. Well, I mean, Yeah, that was the other thing, too. Hold on. Let me, let me just double check this because somebody told me this, and I, I want to see um, if it's true or not. Um, okay. So if you go onto his channel, right, and you look at his playlist, because people were like, is he deleting or privating the videos? And somebody's like, oh, he's deleting them. But if you go into the uh, the playlist, right, uh, like Kumite events, Kumite this, Kumite that, yeah. they're not deleted. It says next to every video, private. No, they're privated. Yeah, yeah. you can see that. His yeah. claim was that he had four strikes on his channel, he told somebody. I've never seen anybody get hit with four strikes in a row and still be able to upload videos. Well, and you strike. can't. Those will eat your channel. <laughs> it's only three yeah. strikes. Well, you, three you, strikes you, and you're out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's well, it's three strikes and you're out. And I mean, look what happened to fucking uh, Monkey Jones or you know ER or them. Like one or two strikes fucked them up. So well, he also he up. also claimed he also claimed that he was in Knoxville. He didn't go to the event, but he was in Knoxville. He was week. not in Knoxville. He, he was no in one. Jacksonville too. Remember? Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that. Oh, oh I was going to fight you, Andy, when he was on Rikita's stream. Uh, you pussed out. You didn't show up, and then you go on Vamp's fucking Twitter timeline, and she's like, "That's terrorism, Andy." If you come to America to beat Donka up, that's terrorism. Say where's where's Tonka? Not only that, oh, but they might so they might for, that might get you banned from the United States. You may never be able to come back. And she da, 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 da. faked her grandmother having a stroke so that her boyfriend on the internet didn't look like a pussy. Who does that? Vamp. I don't think Vamp will ever also turn. tries to change their name two days before a scheduled fight and sign the wrong name in November. Yeah, that's really fucking and weird. And then say that you filed it, but then when you call the yeah. court, they have no record of it ever being yeah. filed. He never had any intention of actually going to any of these fights. He was just putting them out there, and because no one took up, took him up on it, he would be like, well, I win. Because no one no one accepted. I win. And that's that's why he's the internet tough guy. By the way, Ralph, uh, you know, while we're all on here, um, sure. you know, we said we were going to talk about the, uh, the GoFundMe thing and about... Uh, yeah, we could talk about that. For that. Yeah, um, basically, Coach Red Pill kind of said he didn't want to do it, and uh, so that's that's where I was at. I mean, I'm still not necessarily against going down there and uh, filming some stuff, but uh, that that's kind of yeah. why. Yeah. So a certain autist got really mad that he lost his streamy account, so he hit up CRP and told him a bullshit story, and then CRP got spooked and doesn't really want to be involved now. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, it wasn't my idea anyway, but it would be funny to go down there to his to his hometown. Uh, so no. I'm gonna I'm gonna close the, uh, the GoFundMe thing and refund all the money to people so they don't feel like they got Tonka sod. And, uh, <laughs> you know, after you know, we can get approval, you know, from your uh, from your PO in a yes, couple of months. Literally, then, would have then we to. can do a low budget uh, road trip down there see more about that like we promised people well i'll be off probation here in a couple months i won't even have to get approval uh, but uh, fuck that then yeah so uh but yeah i mean i did think it would be funny to go down there and just you know whether we get to talk to them or not just take a take a peek behind the scenes there and talk us hometown I'm, I'm not necessarily against that i think that would be kind of funny uh, but i wonder if talk is even gonna be there he might he might already be arrested i uh, just want to i just want to have tea with his mima hear about <laughs> it hear about robbie's uh childhood how he grew up to be so fucked up in the head. Now, l- let me ask you, Jim, uh, do, do you actually think there's a chance that he will go to jail? Uh, I, I have no idea. Like, I again, mean, it's all speculation. I mean, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, look, I, I thought he was just a giant pussy that ran his mouth and then got outed as being a giant pussy that ran his mouth. But now all this financial shit's dropping, like fake notary stamps and stuff. I mean, it's going to be entertaining as fuck to watch one way or the other because I'm almost 100% certain, like I said, he's going to stream. And he'll probably try to address every allegation that's been out there now for the last three or four days. And it's just going to be a fucking train wreck. And everybody knows it's going to be a train wreck. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. And if there is any reality to, you know, fake contracts, fake blood work, you know, tax weirdness and shit like that, 
Um, him deleting all those videos or privating all those videos, I don't think is strike related. I think that would probably be him getting really nervous. But unfortunately for him, so much shit has been archived. It's not like he can make it go away. I think that's lawsuit related. And also when I heard that the the AdSense was under his grandmother's name, that type of shit there makes me think that the stuff about tax evasion, that there is actually something to that. Um, and it's not, not even so much that. It's when you guys were talking about he set up, a, what the fuck was it? Uh, like a charitable LLC. Yeah. And that that's a whole nother level. That's that's fucking federal crime when you start doing. Well, no, that, that's for- the one that yeah, that's the one that got his. Uh, his grandmother ran a non for profit LLC, uh, and it ran alongside uh, you know like a church in the area in a certain county, and it was kind of like a CCD thing, like for confirmation. Holy shit! Wait a second, failure. Didn't you just say earlier in the stream that Tonka told you he was a pastor? Yeah, in yeah. the past. Wait, wait. He was a pastor in the past, and Mima runs. An yeah. LLC, a religious LLC, is that what you said? Yeah. Oh do you, shit. Do you get what I'm saying here? Yes, I do. <laughs> and then uh it's really weird because when you actually like look up the thing, it's registered in his grandmother's name, and she's the only person that's listed on the actual business license. But there's no evidence of the business being in operation, yet it's declaring taxes every tax season and it's registered with the state of Alabama. So I don't know how it's how it's an active business license that's declaring taxes every season when it's not at, it, it's nowhere. The old business has been closed down since uh, you know 2003. Uh, it was the last uh, business listing that was on on record, and now all of a sudden it's gone. It, it has no business listing. It's registered to a PO box about two hours from Tonka's house. Uh, it's just it's very strange. I don't. I, I'm looking forward to the adventures of Pastor Donga and the <laughs> charitable LLC that Mima runs. But I, I, I'm tired. Yeah. I'm, I'm Go ahead. Jump. Thank you for coming uh, on, man. I appreciate yeah, those, well, I, those I, bombshell I, I, secret recordings. You had to be here for that. I, I had to defend myself against <laughs> the You really did. They were damning, Jim. Yeah, just damning. You'd be ashamed. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't, and I had I, to I, listen to all that shit too. <laughs> You poor motherfucker. Um, yeah, but I, I don't know what's going to happen with Donga. But yeah, like I, I, my speculation is sometime probably in the next week he's going to at least put up some kind of response, and it's going to be funny as shit. So well, I'll, I'll wait real quick before you go. Uh, I don't want to keep you too long, but yeah. what what is his? Isn't it kind of he's falling falling into the full low cal cycle because most people with a brain, any, even half a brain, would just delete everything and get off the internet. But he, he can't help himself at this point, right? I mean, anything he does is just going to add fuel to the fire. What, what is the mindset behind that? Oh, I just like to point out, if Dog ever hears this clip, uh, you're dumber than Fred Fox because at least Fred Fox walked away, you stupid shit. You are dumber than a giant A-log. Think about it, Tonka. Think about it and weep, you <laughs> stupid cunt. All right, have a good thank night. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Later, Jim. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Jim. For- <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i don't know i just sit here and think like what is his mindset why would he uh, i just there's nothing there's literally nothing he could say that would make any of this better and he just can't help himself and he's going to continue to feed it um honestly if he went away and just fucked off and never showed his face again deleted his discord deleted his discord account there's a slim chance maybe even better than slim that it you know it might amount to nothing people will just stop not Zoom, of course, but you know other people might stop. Uh, but he just can't. He can't find it within him to do that. Uh, you know, you would think he's not internet people. He would just, all right, whatever. It's all over. I'll just delete my shit. Uh, but the sad fact of the matter is, Donga is internet people, and he is very deep into the internet people mindset, and he just can't walk away. He's stuck, and he wants to be relevant forever. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes away and comes back as someone else or pretends to be someone else. <laughs> yeah, but that's not going to work. I mean, I thought the I same know thing, but I know it's not going to work, but there's a lot of things he tried to do that does, didn't work. Well, at, literally everything. Well, at least since, I mean, it was working there for Especially a while. Walking. Oh, poor Donga. By the way, we have this tranny here. Is that even worth? Oh, Jesus. Joe, you have the strangest Photoshop skills. My wife is thicker than that, by the way. I'll I'll point that out. Let me bring in uh let's see, Roxy. What is even going on? All right, now you're you're some tranny that used to fuck with Donga. Is that what I'm led to believe? Um, yeah, that's exactly what. Okay, so Well, sort of. 
Boy, um, I was a classmate of his back in high school. Um, he was like, he was always like secretly trying to hit on me. And anytime I'd bring it up around our like mutual friend group, he'd always like hardcore deny it. Okay. So what, so how did you meet Donga? You said you were a classmate. Um, how did that work? Um, yeah. Like all of our group of friends were, uh, like the losers of the school. 